Uh, this is an interesting letter. I, I've vetted all these, by the way, so they're all going to be hits. Hey, guys, I've been salty over the influence Twitter has had on our culture for quite a while now. And it seems that according to recently settled lawsuits and Twitter's own published data, their influence on our society is totally unwarranted. Twitter has just settled a lawsuit for overinflating their active user base numbers. This was in 2015 and arguably crosses over with the Trump surge. At this time, excuse me, there were numbers being thrown around like 350 million active users. This letter, by the way, Ryan, is called Twitter I Reveals it. Its Family. It was bullshit. Here's the lawsuit that was just settled. Okay, and then he goes, but it gets worse. In Twitter's most recent filing for QI 2022, they only claim to have 229 million active monetizable users globally. And for the US, a mere 39 million. But let's get real. Most US-based users aren't on there for anything political. We don't have solid numbers on that, but I've seen estimates that range from 10 to 20% of US users are political people, hardcore political people. I believe it to be much less, but let's take the over. We have the national conversation, the destroying of people li people's lives and careers, and even legislation based on three to four million Twitter accounts. How many of those are duplicates or an alt? How many are retweet bots or automated just to push other users' tweets? Twitterly, Twitter is quite literally fake and gay, and then he lists all his sources. Um, yeah, but another detail that I that is probably intuitive at this point. Out of that 3.4 million, right? Let's say it's it's 2 million after you take all the duplicate accounts out, and it's 2 million of lefties, pretty darn radical lefties. You saw on Twitter you you've got people praising the abortion wars and saying this is awesome that you went to that judge's house and you're burning shit down. It's an important feminist message. Blue check marks are saying that on Twitter. And I can't get on or, you know, anyone normal isn't allowed on. So the American conversation is being run by about two million radical left wing lunatics. Is that free speech? Is that why it, is Elon Musk going to fix that? 